गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आई आर टी सी चैनल दिस इज वेद प्रकाश सिंह फ्रॉम आई आर टी सी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी आई स्पेसिफिक एलिमेंट नंबर थ्री ऑफ पी एस एम प्रोसेस सेफ्टी मैनेजमेंट एंड द थर्ड एलिमेंट इज द प्रोसेस हजार्ड एनालिसिस राइट गाइज प्रोबेबली यू माइट हैव गोन थ्रू अदर एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम आई आर टी सी चैनल सो आई टेल यू दैट वी हैव डेवलप ऑल फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स प्रजेंटेशन एंड विच इज अवेलेबल फॉर यू on iitc channel so please feel free to search on iitc channel other elements of psm you will find it in this uh, presentation we are going to see these following points but not limited to we will see what is a pha we will see importance of pha and we will see what are the various tools of pha gentlemen and ladies my request my humble request please subscribe and press the bell icon and please also send this link to your friends professional friends your company group and whatsapp group so guys now basic thing we need to understand the difference between between occupational safety and process safety let us start with uh, occupational safety as you guys knows that occupational safety focuses mainly on preventing the personal injuries personal injuries here means leg injury finger injury hand injury face injury eye injury and any body part injuries and uh, this occupational safety can be measured as per the osha standard in lti loss time injuries or loss time accidents fr means frequency rate sr means severity rate fsi means frequency severity index etc normally i mean as you know that occupational safety or occupational accidents are high in probability they are always uh, in high numbers that means failure frequency accident frequencies are more but severity is compared to the process safety is low i don't say that uh, it is uh, a low in terms of let's say there 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 are fatalities in terms of uh, uh, any work person working at height if he falls from the height he may die unfortunately so in that perspective i am not saying but yes in general the severity of this occupational safety or occupational related accidents are low let us go ahead for process safety guys as you know that the definition of process safety as per the name it is a safety of process means process safety primarily it means of lopc loss of primary containment so it is a process safety is a systematic approach to prevent potential release or lopc or uh, a low loss of primary containment this looks entire processes beginning from the material equipment systems and product it is measured in a different aspect like uh, alarm rate corrosion rate flow rate leak rate in this terms it can be measured so if you see in terms of probability this process safety events are very less in terms of uh, probability but the severity is, is very high when i'm saying severity is very high that means it can kill many people at one point of time because this is process safety related event anybody and everybody who is in the contour of high fire high radiation high exposure zone he will be affected and he may be killed so that is why the severity is very high severity severity in terms of fatality severity in terms of production loss severity in terms of reputation loss severity in terms of financial loss so guys let's go ahead i hope by now you understand the basic concept of occupational safety and process safety in this slide probably you will have clearer information related to process safety versus occupational safety if you see this graph this is y axis this is x axis here in this y axis you have got mah major accident hazard hope you are able to see my cursor and the down below is a slip trip and falls so this is the accident category and in y in x axis this is the likelihood or frequency in the beginning this is unlikely or very unlikely and there is a high possibility or high possibility 
If you go and see and refer this uh, slanting line which is light blue, here it is a personal safety means occupational safety. If you go down below here, so that means it shows that it is a high probability, high in numbers. The same time if you see the corresponding x axis, this is the sleep, trip, injuries and this kind of injuries. So that means this graph shows that personal safety or occupational safety, the possibility is very high whereas the severity is low in compared to the process safety. Now we are talking about the process safety if you see here the process safety here uh, the it is very unlikely in terms of the frequency in terms of the I mean uh, likelihood but the severity is MAH major accident hazard. When we say major accident hazard that means it this event can kill many people at one point of time. It has huge impact on production loss, it has huge impact on um, facility damage, it has huge impact on financial loss. So guys, this slide is very good slide to understand the definition as well as the difference between process safety versus occupational safety. Guys, I know that you are going through this video, you may be having any question or any suggestion, I would encourage you to please participate in the comment section so that we can come back to you with your queries ASAP basis. So guys process safety again you are here saying that process safety involves the prevention of leak, equipment malfunction and over pressure, corrosion, metal and fatigue. This deals with process characteristics of pressure, temperature, flow, um, level and all these things. So the essential elements are we must know the processes both physically as well as technically to understand complete process safety. So this is what is process safety management. We will go through line by line, one by one, each element so that you have got very good information regarding process safety management as well as all the elements of process safety. This will see the analyze the process hazard. This is a PHA. PHA is one of the element of process safety. I have created one small video, small presentation only for you. Please search on IITC PHA. You will find it that you get very good information regarding PHA, process hazard analysis. Now we have to also deal with the maintenance because maintenance is reliability, availability and maintainability. Manage and communicate over the life processes. We have to see complete life cycle of process safety in this uh, management system. Guys, I hope you are able to see this uh, I mean, screen. We have highlighted uh, this element number 3 is a PHA and other element uh, programs are available on IITC channel. Feel free to go through that. So in this element we are going to discuss PHA. Guys, what is the purpose of PHA? PHA is nothing but only it is an in-depth review of processes. The reason of uh, review is to find out uh, the hazards, the find out uh, the real risk in terms of, uh, I mean, uh, uh, process risk in terms of property risk in terms of financial risk in terms of loss of life in terms of reputation loss. And accordingly, we have to evaluate the risk and after that we have to find out the control measures so that we can mitigate all the process safety related events. See, in nutshell, we have to do the hazard risk identification or process hazard analysis. There are different tools of hazard analysis. We will see in the following slide. The whole sole purpose is to find out all the preventive barriers and all the mitigating barriers so that we can prevent all the possible process safety related events. This is the goal. And we need to find out all the mitigating, uh, I mean, uh, uh, control measures so that we can mitigate any events if there is unfortunately. As you mentioned that for process hazard analysis there are various tools available. There are you can go for HAZIT, hazard identification, you can go for HAZOP, you can go for what if analysis, you can go for FEMA, you can go for faulty analysis, you can have different checklist, you can go for um, 
let's say i mean uh, silk classification you can go for uh, uh, quantitative risk assessment you can go for uh, scenario based risk, ass risk assessment there are various tools available for pha depending on your requirement you can select the tool and go through that so now question is who will be responsible for pha and who are the right team for pha see guys very important thing is to find out the right team otherwise you are not going to achieve a successful pha so engineering team must be there uh, because they are the designer they are the originator the team from operation should be there because they are the people who are going to operate and they must know they must know the process people the, those people who are uh, expert on the process they must know what are the different processes they should be part of pha and facilitator those guy who know the system better who is the, going to chair the session he must be knowledgeable he must be approved he must have the respective process experience and and other than that you can have i and e engineer instrument and electrical you can have maintenance engineer you can have equipment supplier you can have operational safety and you can have oem you can have contractor you have a vendor you have got epc company so that you can do a complete good pha so right time right team can give you right uh, output so please select your team comfortably carefully so that you can do a, a very successful pha guys now here we need to find out the different control measures engineering control measures or or administrative control measures there is one system called as e r i c p d eric p d elimination reduction isolation control ppe and discipline i have prepared one small presentation on risk management i would encourage you to please go through that presentation to get a complete idea about hierarchy of control so guys second thing is human factor engineering this is ergonomic study we must because there are many contributors there are i mean many contributions of uh, i mean human being in accident human can also damage i mean uh, injured injured himself or herself so we must do human factor engineering for all the facility to identify the stress level to identify uh, easily oper operable of the system facility siting facility layout plant layout plot plant review this must be done in the beginning because the facility siting study layout study plot plant review will tell you which equipment should be placed where safely so that there is no fire no explosion in terms of toxic release in terms of flammable chemical release identification of any previous incidents so you know when you are going to design so we need to know that we what was what what went wrong in the past because what went wrong in the past is our eye opener we will not repeat the same mistake in design in construction in operation so that our system is safe documentation and timely resolution of pha recommend this is a very important thing because guys we do a very good pha study we identify good credible recommendations but if those recommendations are not implemented that means the system is going to fail it is uh, worth for zero so we must do complete immediate implementation for pha recommendation pha must be updated and revalidated every 5 year guys here the risk is not very dynamic but you do lot of mocs your equipments are wearing out there is a tearing out so you must do pha review once in a 5 year or as per the legal law of your area so this is one of the important factor so that you can design your system safely you can operate your system safely you can operate your system um, maintain your system safely so guys these are the various points i have tried to list out these are the i mean total 18 psi is are there which we must uh, try to know will the result of pha be communicated to affected employees what is your answer i will not answer if you want to know my answer you have to put in the comment section 
or the SDS available or the MSDS available, we need to find out whether we have got all MSDS in the plant, in the process area, in the, I mean, uh, in the uh, storage area. Are the effects of mixing available? Do we need to know that chemical A, chemical B, what is the mixing concentration level? Are the block flow and PFD available? Do I have process flow diagram? Because that is my basic requirement to understand the PHA. Is the process uh, chemistry available? What kind of different chemicals are to be used? What are their flammability level? What is their flash point? What is their explosivity level? What is their toxicity, toxicity level? Is maximum intended inventory available? So in inventory means we do not need to keep more than maximum inventory. Otherwise, this can create a problem in terms of regulation, in terms of safety. Are the safety upper and lower limits available? This is the design intent. We should not operate uh, over the design or under the design. Are the consequence of deviations available? We must know what the consequence of any deviation. What is deviation? No flow, less flow, more flow, high pressure, low pressure, high temperature, low temperature, high level, low level. These are the examples of uh, deviations. And we need to know that what will go wrong if I deviate from the design intent or operating envelope. Are the material of construction available? Are the MOC of material construction is available? Because this is going to give you the reliability and confidence. Are the PNID available? Because PNID without PNID you cannot do PHA. Are the electrical area classification drawings available? Electrical area means hazardous area classification as per IP15, IP500, 505. Each the relief system design basis is available. We must know the relief system or blowdown system, uh, uh, the rate of blowdown or rate of relief. If the ventilation system is designed and available, we must know because this ventilation system will create a safer and better working environment. Even safer operation. Are the design codes standard available? Because before this, without this document, we cannot run PHA. Are the material and energy balance available? So we need to ask all the questions. Are cause and effect diagram available? Is the uh, Raga gap document is available? So we need to find out all this checklist before we start the PHA because these documents are important for doing a successful PHA implementation. Guys, my humble request to you is Please subscribe the channel and please press the bell icon and please do not forget to send it to the your friends. I hope this information was useful for you. Guys, with this, thank you very much. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat. Thank you very much.